What's up guys? Welcome back to my channel. It has been a hot minute before I, since I have recorded a video. Uh, I really wanted to get this one out there. I've recently um, been applying eyelash extensions to myself. Not me applying them. I have gotten them done. They are on my eyes. Someone has given me eyelash extensions and I love them. But I know for a fact that it's super hard, especially, I don't know, I don't know about other people. I'm sure there's some great people out there that can really apply makeup with their extensions on. But I know for a fact that I have a hard time um, putting eyeshadow on and putting eyeliner on with my extensions. Um, I've heard, like, I, because I do eyelash extensions, so I've had a number of my clients tell me that it's actually really difficult. But uh, I've, I've really just been trying little ways it's honestly it's the same way that I apply my makeup now it's just that you move your hand in certain ways certain directions that just make it a lot easier so I thought I'd show you guys that and hopefully it helps I hope that these tips do help if I come across new things like I said I've only recently been doing them so if I come across new things as time progresses I will definitely do an updated video but uh, yeah this is kind of what I have right now so I hope this does something <laughs> so enough of that, let's just get straight to the video. Okay, so I'm literally just going to use like three brushes. So for like my actual shadow, it's just going to be three brushes. Oh my god, my ear looks so freaking big. Wrong ear. This one, it looks... So I'm going to use three brushes. Oh, dear god. Okay, so I have a nice fluffy... Like, not fluffy, sorry. It's a little bit more dense. Okay, so this one's like a nice dense brush. So it is the Pro Bullet Crease from... And it's a Sephora brush. So it's number 86. I'm going to use this to apply the shadow. And then I'm going to use this nice little fluffy uh, blender and just blend it out. So when I do, um, oh and then I'm going to use like a nice flat guy just to uh, apply any shadows onto my lid. So with my extensions, I don't really like to wear um, too many colors because it just gets out of hand and then I feel like the extensions do enough for me and this is going to be like kind of like an everyday shadow look. So if you want, I mean... You don't really need shadow for every day. So let's switch it. It's going to be more of like, if you want a little extra. And for me, like for me, when I have extensions on and I go out, I really don't need an excessive amount of shadow. I reduce the amount of shadow I wear just because my extensions are enough. Also, it's a little difficult to put the shadow on with the extensions. But I find this is the easiest way and then this is the best look I get for that. So I'm going to use my... <gasps> we're back. So I'm going to use my Anastasia uh, Prism Palette. I haven't used this in a while, but that's what it looks like. So I'm going to use literally three shadows. One for uh, my transition, and then just one for my crease, and then one for my lid. So I'm going to start with... Uh, let's keep it like warm. So I'm going to start with uh, Saturn. So that's Saturn right there, that like orangey warm color. So I'm going to take my dense brush... And I'm going to go straight into that and dust it off. Okay, so this is where it gets a little tricky. So I'm literally just going to, like, you have to close your eyes, but enough that you can go around the extensions. So I'm literally just going to close my eyes enough. Granted, my eyes are pretty chinky as is, so it's kind of easier. Or does that make it harder? I don't really know. Okay, so I'm going to just really go right in between the lashes. If you have to use your brush to pull your lashes down a little bit, that's fine. It's not going to it's not going to ruin your lashes, just as long as you're not swiping back and forth and moving them around too much. So, just right at the edge here, I'm just going to apply the product. So, I'm just applying the shadow right on the ends. I'm going to put a little bit more So I'm really just going to build it up because I do want it to be a little bit dramatic because it would be more so, I guess more so for like going out. So then I'm going to take my fluffy brush and then I like to raise my eyebrows so that way you get more of the lid space and then that way you're not touching the lashes so much. So raise your brow a little bit and then slowly blend it. You're really blending out the outer corners anyways just to soften the color up. So you really don't need to go too close to your crease to really touch your lashes 
And then at this point you could really just close the one eye and just blend out the edges. So yeah, I think that's good enough for like right now. And then even just bring it forward a little bit. Yeah. I like that. Okay, so then I'm going to take the darker shade, which is parallel right here. So that's like the darker brown. And same thing with my dense brush. And I'm just going to place it more so in my crease. So same thing, just going to touch my lashes a little bit, but really just slightly pack on the product right where you want it to be the most intense, which would really be the crease. And then my fluffy brush, and same thing, blend it out. So same thing, I'm just really blending those two colors together, not really focusing in my crease as outer, on the outer side, ugh, the outer edges of my crease, just to blend the two shadows together. So that's what it looks like. So I like the depth of that. I don't think it needs to be any darker for me. Like, I think that's perfect. So I'm going to go into Unity, which is this, like, light beigey shade. So taking my flat brush, just packing it on, dust it off. And then right on my lid. So this one, you will touch your lashes a little bit more. But it, refrain from, like, swiping. I mean, you're not really supposed to swipe. So just really pack it on. And then, sometimes even going above might be easier. No. Just like, I'm really just like, pushing it into my lid with like, small presses. And I'm just going to take my fluffy brush. Soften up any edges. Okay, so I think that's good enough for me. Yeah, three shadows is more than enough. I think that gives me quite an intense look. If you're trying to do like a cut crease, like that's a different situation altogether. But I personally think this is like enough for me. I like it. It's like mellow, you know? But enough that you could go out like this. Okay. So now for like the real tricky part. So this is the part that really messes people up, especially me. I know like when I just started getting extensions, I could not for the life of me put liner on. Like it was actually, like putting liner on was actually the hardest thing ever. <laughs> and it just became more and more, I don't know, it just became more and more annoying every time I would have to try. And I felt like I was really ruining my lashes. Um, but... I mean now it's not as bad, it's a lot easier and like you don't really, you do it in a way that you don't really touch the lashes but I'm going to do um, something different, something I think could work even without shadow. It, this just makes it so much easier for a lot of people and myself too. I think this, I think this is a better, I think this is a better option. So I'm going to take a nice flat angled brush and uh, it's nice and dense and I'm just going to put that into this black shadow here, Obsidian. Obviously you can use any black shadow but I'm going to use this one because I'm already using this palette. And I'm going to dust off the excess. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I start at the end of my um, lash line. It, with liner, you really have to make sure you're being careful. And I find it's a lot easier to mess up liner, especially liquid liner, with the extensions. So this, I, I actually do this myself. I just avoid wearing liner just because it's, it's such a pain and it's such a hassle with lashes. And I don't think you need it. So I'm really going to start the corner, the end of my lash line. Just stamp in a little wing just like that. I think that's enough. And then connect. Now, I'm missing a few lashes on the end of my eye, so that was a little bit easier. But um, if you were, if you had the extensions there, I mean, you just want to go over the lashes. So then now I'm going to go over my lashes, and I'm going to go behind the lashes and connect from my lash line. And it's so much easier. I think it's just, it just makes a lot, it makes a lot, um, I think it just makes like a big difference in terms of like how you apply it. It's just so much easier and you don't have to worry about ruining your lashes. 
And then with the with the extensions anyways, you do get that dark lash line. So you don't necessarily need the intensity of the black liner. Unless you want that, of course. But I think this does it for me. So I'm just going to go in my inner corner and just really connect that. And then right above. Oops. And then if you obviously if you want to make this a little bit more intense, you can always wing out your line a little more. And then like I said, I didn't have I'm lose I'm missing some extensions on the end, so that's making that a little bit easier for me. But like I think that's good enough. I love that. I love this look. And the whole point for me with extensions is to make my life easier. <laughs> and to avoid having to put on as much makeup and this totally does it for me. If you want like that Instagram like cut crease then you're talking about a different story and honestly if you're doing things like that f to avoid ruining your lashes it's actually much easier to just get it done because then that way your eyes are closed and the person doing it doesn't have to worry about your extensions. I know for me personally like I don't mind doing people's makeup with extensions I think it's totally fine like I have no problem so um, I just think even for me I would rather just get my eyes done than having to do it myself with the extensions it's just a lot it's a lot easier okay guys that is the end of my video I feel like I have lipstick on my teeth I do not uh, hope you guys like this video I hope it was helpful I, this is something that I've been kind of having problem with so I thought I would do a video and share it with you guys how I get it done some way or another one way or another but yeah that's it this is what it looks like it's I like I know for a fact that it is not perfect and it could look better and I know for a fact my makeup does look better when I don't have the extensions on but I like the extensions and I feel like it does help me on like my day-to-day -day. and so I'm okay with it and I'm gonna keep them and I'm happy with it uh, this is just a way to give your eyes something different. Obviously, you don't have to do this every day. This isn't like an everyday thing. I mean, you could. But uh, I know for me, the extensions are more than enough for uh, my everyday. And this is just really from going out. But yeah, that is the end of that. If you guys like this video, please give me a like, comment, share, and subscribe. And I'll be back with something new next time. Bye!